Good, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Nabi and AIT to give me a chance to be here to share the, my experience about low-income housing development of the National Housing Authority of Thailand. My presentation will be uh, will focus on two major parts. The first one is the background and uh, performance of the National Housing Authority. What we have done so far during our 43 years. And uh, the other part is about the environmental friendly housing study. So, uh, I will show you first. In Thai constitutional declaration, that say that those who are homeless have insufficient income to earn a living, have a right to ask for appropriate assistance from the government. This shows uh, how housing, how important housing is. So this is what uh, my department has learned by heart. The National Housing Authority was uh, founded 43 years ago in uh, 1973. Uh, at the earliest times, we focused on some improvement, which is in provinces all over the Thailand, except Bangkok, to prepare a housing development plan. I mean, housing development at the provincial level. We, we, we could help them all over the countries, 76 provinces until now. And this is example, this is only example of the what we have done. I, I will go uh, quickly. This is the, one of the, our biggest project in Bangkok. It's only about uh, two or three kilometers from NHA headquarters. This, this project consists of about 5,600 units near Bangkok. It's uh, nearly eight years ago. The price of the units is only uh, 370,000 baht per unit. While living an area minimum by the private developer is 1 million or 900 something. This is an example. Dominion detached house, semi detached room house. This one exists all over Thailand. It's only one year at one. And another performance by NHA is the NHA played an important role in issuing the Condominium Act in Thailand. Why? Because we have. Uh, we have a lot of people living together and we think that when people live together there must be a rule or regulation for them, for everyone to live happily. So we can say that we are the one who issue the Condominium Act. And another act that NHA involved is the Land Readjustment Act. Twenty years ago we, we have a problem with the uh, with acquiring land for low income housing. Land is the most essential and takes half of the cost of housing development. At that time, we, we have a lot of problems about acquiring the land. And we try to solve this problem by, by uh, uh, studying from abroad. And at that time, we, we have JICA who, who came to Department of Town Country Planning and the BMA, Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. So, NHA is the one, is one of the three organizations who uh, play an important role in issuing this language adjustment act. I can say this because I'm the one who are over at that time. I, I, I just uh, have a pilot project on the language adjustment project in Lakrabang, Bangkok. And another important uh, 
assignment from the government is the Banpuraton Housing Project, which was under the 1 million housing units program. This is the big assignment by the government for five years. We, we have to do this, but we have been assigned only 600 housing units, not, not, not all 1 million units. And another one is the, since we learn from our trials and errors, we know that problems of low-income housing arise from policy, from standard, and also from financing. So we, I mean my department, we have studied all this, and finally we prepare a national housing strategy in order to solve these major problems. And during and under and to 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 manage this strategy, we propose to the government to set up a national housing policy committee, which the cabinet approved a few years ago. This committee has a prime minister or deputy prime minister, which the prime minister assigned. This person will chair the committee and the Ministry of Social Development and Human Security will be the vice chairman, while NHA governor or the director of ODI or the uh, manager of the government housing bank are the member of the committee. And another one that the National Housing Authority play an important role about this is the relaxation of the building code. Why? We know that we deal with a lot of people with various income groups. So from our experience, we know that one standard could not fit all. So we propose an alternative to solve this problem. That is the relaxation of the building code, which was already approved. But I, I, I can uh, tell you that NHA uh, does not use this standard. Actually, we, we have a building code we follow. We follow to the building code. But why we think about this? Because we know that Cody deal with very low income people who live in Islam. So this is from uh, my department. We have studied and we, we, we finally we succeeded in uh, proposing to the government that the law, the standard, there should be only one standard. There should be another standard for very low income people. That means the law should relax or exempt any issues concerning low income housing development. But not all issues except, can you guess? One thing that this law should not accept safety or security of the building. And according to this relaxation or extension of the building code, there is a new type of housing in Thailand. We call it a house cluster of three to four units. I can show some some relaxation or some exemption about uh, low income housing development. For example, we can exempt or relax the distance from floor to ceiling. You can compare. This one is for an ordinary center according to the building code. And this one is no, 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 no. I'm sorry. This one is for the is according to the building control act, and this one is for the relaxation of the 
very cold. This also, I will show you all some quickly. Number of rows in a row, and also this one. This is this is only an example according to this the, re the relaxation of the building code. That is the one we we have succeeded in issuing in proposing this uh, relaxation to the cabinet. Concept concept of initiative is we will do our projects for first home buyers or for renters with the aim that we, we want the society to have, want the people to have a good quality of living in order to get sustainable development for country. <clears throat> and the strategy, for strategy of NHA, we will focus to our target group. Who is our target group? I can say that in the early stage, of the NHA, our, tech, our target group is the people who has the monthly household income at the 40th percentile, but not the people under the poverty line. But when these people uh, go to the bank, they always they are always rejected by the bank. So. After that, we have increased the target group to the 60th percentile. So this is the how, how because the bank, you know that the bank has risk to manage. So they select the people with higher income, with the formal, formal monthly salary, something like that. So they manage the risk. So they always reject the people who are who has not much income then that people come to us under the higher purchase scheme it is is uh, I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure whether you can uh, whether you have heard about the high purchase scheme to the bank the people has to transfer the ownership to the bank during that time they has to pay fee, transfer fee to the bank. And when they pay out all the loans, then the bank will transfer ownership to the people. But for NHA, for the people who are rejected by the bank, they, when they come to us, they will be under the higher scheme. Under this scheme, they do not have to transfer the right to NHA. That means the ownership still is still with NHA, and they have pay monthly repayment until five years, ten years, according to them. After that, NHA will transfer the right to them. So it, it is a little bit. It is different. It's different. But for the people who go to the bank. If they do not pay three consecutive months, but within nine zero, 90 days, the bank will reject all the people who are in queue asking for the housing loan from them. So, NHA has to guarantee, has to buy the unit back at the total price of the unit, not, not the deducted amount. This is what we have contributed to the low income people. That is our that is our purpose. And for the corporate social risk responsibility, we focus on both the in process and after process. Focus on construct on construction or design construction and after the process that means we help them manage their community. And our value focus on both product and cohesive community. And the design criteria is mixed income, 
we will have mixed income and mixed mis land use in our project. And also, 70% will be in low income percent. 70% of the project will focus on low income people. And another, the remaining 30% is the middle income. And the saleable area is 70%, while the non saleable are 30%. Uh, non saleable means the area for roads or infrastructure for uh, facilities, public facilities. So this is the criteria of NHA. That is all about NHA and its performance during the 43 years. Now, I would like to focus on challenge. What's in my mind during these 10 years? Maybe it only in my mind. That is, how could NHA provide a more comfortable house but less energy consuming and most of all affordable to low income people because I'm from the housing development studies. I take care about research and research and study, take care of the, about the housing information preparation, international cooperation and also support to the National Housing Policy Committee, support about the research study support about the information, something like that. So it's always in my mind that, especially during these 10 years, we have another factor which has a lot of impact on the world, that is the environmental issues. Climate change, four years ago, Bangkok or Thailand, most part of Thailand were hit by a huge flood. I think many people remember. So, these factors, in my opinion, are very important. So, how my department could help NHA to provide a more affordable, less consumed energy consuming, and most of all, affordable to these low income people? Let's have a look. We have to deal with the cost mainly on land, law, and finance. Land, you know, the land acquisition procedure of public sector, I can say that of public sector, is time consuming. For an NHA, our normal practice is two years to get a piece of land because this issue concerns about the good governance. So for oh, every body who, who are the committee to select the land are very concerned about this very much. So this is the big issue because no land, no project. This one. Another one is I know. What we are trying to help reduce the land cost is we we are trying to make a careful selection about the land. That means we try to select a serviced land. That is, this land should be in the municipal area. This land should be uh, serviced with infrastructure in order to reduce, try to reduce the cost as much as possible. And also for the law, we, we, have, we are like another developers. We have to pass many laws. We have to pass EIA. We have to ask for the building permit, many things. And also we have to deal with financing. So, so these this are critical issues. And about the design, you see, we, are, we have uh, cooperated with the international cooperation that is German International Agency to try to study about the design and technology. You can see this, the result, the study in front of this room. And also I, I have some in my, in my uh, presentation. In this study, we use the row house as an, as an uh, example. Finally, we came up with the step ventilation 
this type of housing is very new to NHA and we will apply this design to one of our projects in Mubrira province. I, will, I would like to invite any person to come to, to go to this uh, project when, when it's finished. This one. This is the result of the study between NHA and the GIZ. And we also try to find the technology that is reduced time and cost in order to be affordable for the people. So until now, I, I think that how could NHA provide a more affordable house with less energy consuming and most of affordable. I, I'm not sure that, I, I, in my opinion, deeply in my heart, I think that this is a, a, a mission impossible. Okay, I'll finish my presentation. Okay.